This is the Dekine High Roller Snowboard Bag. And this is the Low Roller version. Other than the graphics, they appear identical. But one costs more than the other. In this video, we'll show you the subtle differences between these two bags. These bags are 165 centimeters long. They both feature an end handle opposite the wheels to make for easy transport. There's an outside pocket for extra gear and a full length zipper to allow easy access to the inside. The main zippers on the bags have eyelets, so you could lock them together if you wanted to. The inside material and amount of padding are about the same. Both bags have a side handle and a place for a name tag. The handles on the end opposite the wheels have Velcro so that you can attach it to other luggage. Both bags have sturdy wheels and skids, something you'll appreciate when you're trying to move them around fully loaded. There's a third handle on the wheel end. With so many similarities between these two bags, you're probably wondering what's the difference. Both have a polyester exterior covering, but the low roller features 600D. The D stands for Dernier, which is a measure of density. The high roller has 900D, so should be less susceptible to scratching and tearing. The high roller bag is a little larger, so you can fit more gear, and it weighs a little more. The high roller features an additional outside storage compartment. Low roller doesn't have one. The high roller has built-in belt ties to keep the contents secure. Both bags have a boot bag that attaches to the interior. But the low roller bag has solid panels, while the high roller bag has a ventilation side. The zipper on the low roller bag is set inside the edges of the bag. The zipper on the high roller bag is set more to the outside. And finally, there's a difference in cost. With its extra features, the high roller costs more. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why not like and subscribe?